The close to National Diabetes Month has come and gone, but staying alert continues beyond just November. Today we introduce you to a woman whose daughter lives with diabetes and we learn it's how she copes with it. That's so heartwarming. ABC 57 photographer Frank Young has the story. Come on. Here. Meet Alana Payne and Miles. Good boy, Miles. Good boy. Miles has been a part of the family for over two years, but there's more to their connection. Last year, Alana's whole life changed when her school nurse called her mom, Christina McLaughlin. Her blood sugar was over 700. Um, a normal blood sugar should be between 80 and 120. And so she was very, very high, where her blood basically was turning to acid. Alana was rushed to Elkhart General Hospital to have tests done. One week later, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Having diabetes has impacted Alana on a daily basis. Things as simple as eating can sometimes be a challenge. Blood sugar checks every time she eats, blood sugar checks when she exercises. Um, it's not just getting in the car going anywhere, anywhere anymore. And that's where oh, Miles comes in. Alana is getting support from her pet. He's now a trained diabetic alert dog. He's actually trained to alert to Alana when her blood sugars are getting low. Um, so anything at 80 and below, he'll alert to her. And he does that with a paw. He, he will paw her. Miles uses his paws to alert her. During six months of training, the dogs are given saliva samples to sniff in patterns. They can actually sniff out high and low blood sugars. It's a blessing to have him and know that he can, he's always watching out for her. Miles basically goes everywhere with Alana now, the grocery store, the library, and even restaurants. Their bond has never been stronger. He's not just a dog to me anymore. He's basically my hero because it's made an impact on my life to have him. He used to be just a normal pet, but now I can count on him. 